it's a pleasure to be on your show on the Sharmila Show House, and uh, I believe uh, people love your show. I mean, your uh, uh, handle and the, the, my people were telling me that she's very popular. So, wishing oh you lots God. of love and lots of more uh, admiration from your uh, audience. now it's not a good time to uh, enjoy uh, for a different reason we are all locked down we are forced to stay at home but it has uh, it has actually given us an ample opportunity to uh, to enjoy with our family members so uh, how do you enjoy with your family now with this well uh, yesterday i wrote a poem which says that these are times which we've never had before or shayad honge bhi nahi hopefully not but these are times where we are actually bonding with family spending the kind of time where we've always said yaar time nahi hai yaar but now we have lots of time to just be together so at home uh, me my brother my sister in law we cook together we wash <laughs> utensils together we listen to music uh, lots of playing watching movies lots of stuff together yeah and oh. it feels nice that um, sab ek saath ghar pe hain kahan aisa hota tha so i think there are two ways of looking at it either you see the glass half empty or you see it half full and yeah. um, since it's a necessary lockdown might as well enjoy it, being home and um, cherish the time that you have with your loved ones yes and it's much like going back to your childhood days when everybody were together all siblings and uh, used to enjoy a lot uh playing games indoor games uh just like that <laughs> yes in fact i've been playing ludo i've been playing uh, hide and seek with my niece and nephew jumping around mm-hmm. the house becomes a mess and then i have to clean it up again realizing that i have to do it all myself but it's fun <laughs> uh, going back i think we are all going back to basics basic pleasures yes <laughs> yeah and coming back to our interview I have realized that you are the most bankable heroine in Bollywood so oh. far for last twenty twenty uh, odd years, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a great pride, and really, uh, no one can retain this glory, to my mind. Thank you. So, what was really behind it, and uh, how did you enjoy such a long journey? And It was I much like a train journey. <laughs> it it is that's true. Um, uh, I think the choices I made uh, because eventually what happens when you are liked by people in a certain role, then uh, the industry likes to just you know bind you with an image that she does that role mm-hmm. very well. I think what I did was I kind of broke that and I didn't sign on like fifty movies just because my one role was a hit. In fact, I after Veer Zara, I waited for one year to sign on mm. Delhi Chhe uh, because everyone was offering me, uh, you know, those vivacious roles and chirpy roles and everything. So I was like, I can do more, much more. And I think saying these constant no's and trying to rediscover yourself, uh, people uh, got this idea that this woman, whenever she comes on screen, she brings something different. so i think that somewhere became my uh, public perception as well as the perception in the industry and um, so i'm glad because i'm experimenting a lot i'm doing lots of different roles uh, yes. playing uh, the lead or playing the villain or playing a comedian uh, i'm enjoying it all greatest role in badlapur so any 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 uh, memories Well, Badlapur had lots of memories for me. For one, I remember for my introduction scene, um, I had to drive a car as fast as the train on the parallel track, and uh, okay. so they were not sure if I drive. Uh, I said, "Yeah, I drive, and I drive well." And they said, "But, ma'am, there's a hitch. This train comes only once in five hours, so we need to get the stake right, abhi isi me. So you have to match the speed." It was pouring that time, and I just whisked so fast, and later when I reached, because I was just with the train simultaneously, it gave me such an adrenaline rush. And uh, when I reached the spot, everyone on the set was clapping for me. So for the first time, it was not for the acting skills, but for my action skills. 
So it was uh-huh. fun. <laughs> so it was fun. I enjoyed that. I still won't forget that. Uh, I want to go back to your debut film, which uh, which was actually made you an instant heroine. Some, uh, I mean, just uh, just within a couple of days, Divya Dutt become a heroine. And uh, also, I'd like to throw some light on the film Train to Pakistan. I feel that your Punjabi self was revealed in that film. Partition is a reality in Punjab as well because they have survived the pangs of partition. I think it's a reality for all of us because all our ancestors, somewhere or the other, come from the other side. and uh, so my grandparents also come from the other side a lot of others and um, so yeah um, i remember i was uh, not in this film but in another film um, i was doing a partition i've done lots of partition films by the way and mm-hmm. um, period mm-hmm. films i've done lots of period, period. films i mean lucky yeah. i did both in in kolkata in fact uh, subhash chandra bose i did in kolkata yeah. and i played his uh, niece in that yes. uh, directed by sham babu so um uh, yeah i was doing the scene uh, and uh, my child was supposed to be snatched from me and uh, the police is taking me away from india to pakistan uh, because i played a muslim girl and um i was laughing i was a kid that time i was very young and i was just uh, laughing and joking and my director said hey uh, just be serious and just use some um, glycerin so i said okay and i i was i just put the glycerin and uh, the shot was a long shot taking me from one to the entire village to the truck uh, just uh, uh, so when they just took me um, i actually started crying feeling the pain of a mother being away from her child it started that way and then they put me in the truck i knew i'm acting i knew it's a situation it's a scene but um i could suddenly feel the pain of partition how many people lost their children their families taken away and we've been lucky we didn't see all that but what we have to do is learn from it so uh, those experiences i'll never forget the first ones and train to pakistan for me is very special because i made lots of friends in that lots of friends um to date it's been like about 20 plus years but um, it was a great experience doing it singing myself i sang my own songs in that film and yeah. I choreographed my own dance numbers it felt really nice um, i was actually a child woman and i played one so that was interesting to many extent people uh, used to say the other day i was talking to madhur bhantarkar ji he was ji. saying that uh, divya is a power packed woman she can oh. do anything <laughs> anywhere <laughs> anything <laughs> you know when i was a heroine nobody wanted me to play uh, the the negative role because they thought i have a sweet face and they thought you know sweet face can't be negative so hmm. madhu really believed in me and he said why and i said you know it's the attitude it's not the face and um, so yeah he believed in me and i had such a blast with such a change of image doing heroine it was like people saw me doing something harsh something dark uh, for the first time <laughs> uh, but i remember that role that pure personality who is uh, who is uh, i mean taking a pledge to make somebody a heroine out of nothing also i could remember th- your role in umrao jan umrao jan was not really successful but your role was remembered i want to ask you what is that that magic you always retain in yourself if you can divulge some secrets i think it's the hunger shamila you have the hunger to um you know do something at its best when you're passionate about something and i didn't have any godfathers i didn't have anybody saying hey here's the author backed role for you and here's the hero you will work up as it i had to make my own path so uh, my mother had told me uh, do these people know you're a good actor i said no so she said how are you going to prove it so she said take on the roles and bring in that x factor to them so they can never ignore you and i think that became a, a reality for me i tried bringing an x factor in my roles 
I tried seeing what is that extra thing I can give to my role, which makes it special that in spite of all the big stars, people do remember me in their films. And gradually, then I got myself a special place in people's heart where they said, "Hey, ye hai to ye film dekhne jayenge." So it feels nice. It's a beautiful journey, um, and I think they all trusted me with uh, with uh, different roles, and I'm so happy that today roles are written for me. Uh, Divya ji, you have written a book uh, about your relationship with uh, your mom, me and Ma. That's amazing name. It's so Thank catchy. You. Thanks. So, what was going through your mind when you penned down everything in written uh, words? Because you know, uh, relationship between mother daughter is not really uh, not really something to be written in a hold. <laughs> I'm different. <laughs> no. Um see for me my biggest attachment, my biggest love, my biggest fear uh was to lose my mother. And uh when that happened, uh there was a denial. But then I thought here's a mother who's believed in my dreams. Uh he here's a mother who supported me in consequential of everything. Um she's been my biggest pillar. and i don't need to just sit about it i need to celebrate her and um, i think any every chapter that i wrote it it wrote how it changed me as a person being her daughter and um, so every chapter in my life beat childhood beat teenage beat my big decision to be an actor and she supported me when everyone was against it so all that and all my mistakes all my wrong choices in relationships she stood by me like how and without judging me so um i wanted to celebrate a woman who who was such a rock in my life and i'm so um happy that you know so many people read that book and they said hey ma'am we read the book and we went and hugged our mom so it felt nice it felt nice that people relate to it they are reconnecting with their mother sometimes you just i just feel you should make best friends with your moms you shouldn't feel are a lot generation hai it isn't like that um, you can just make your parents your best friends as well yeah yeah and in a different tone it's not just saying that my parent is a best is my best friend it's like exploring uh, right the uh, uh, wanting to know the generation before uh, our older generation so i think that is the way and uh, uh, divya yeah. <laughs> I I would li- also like to know about your second book which you are writing during this lockdown period. Uh second book is also uh going to be my journey but my professional journey. And uh, so it's interesting a lot of people want to know about my journey and I feel nice when I'm on these live chats and ask such amazing questions. So there's a lot of curiosity there's a lot of intrigue so I'm kind of going to answer all that in that one book about my journey. um uh, in the films in something that i love doing the most some personalities who have made a mark in your uh, in your journey amitabh bachchan yes absolutely the biggest uh, impact i would say because half of the population or more so i would say have become actors thanks to him he's been such an inspiration that people always wanted i became i i bro i tore my mother's sarees and dupattas and said um i want to dance like him and um, i used to dance on his songs uh, and call all my neighborhood kids and say hey listen party with me and and see how i dance like amitabh bachchan and um, <laughs> so um, so and then cut to you are actually working with him after a few years uh, it feels like a dream come true and he's so inspirational he's so sensitive he's just not the superstar that he is or the brilliant actor he is but a superbly sensitive soul who's truly inspiring and i'm so glad I got to do five films with him, and I'm now waiting. It's been a long gap. I must work with him again. And the next is Salman Khan. Salman, Salman Khan. I think is um, is the most Veer fun Vati. boss. Yes, um, I remember he was very protective of me. Very protective. He really took care of me. Uh, something very interesting. I didn't know how to do a death scene, and uh, he, he was packed up, and he actually sat for me. to teach me how to do it and since he was salman khan i actually was like totally i was a kid and i was actually listening to you know the salman khan and um, he taught me so many techniques about acting and 
very supportive and I used to get khana from his house and still I mean whenever we meet this that warmth that he has and he's the most supportive um co-star that you could ever want Shahrukh Khan and Akshay Shahrukh is the most charming person most charming hands down um I will never forget how amazing he was with me in Veer Zara and even before that when when we met uh charming to the hilt taking care about um how I was doing my lines and he would you know sometimes I I was new I didn't know how to take camera angles and everything and he just would nudge me and say hey that that so I was like okay so it feels nice that you know when you're a newcomer when people look over you feels those people are always very very special so sharuk for me will always be someone who's very very um close to my heart akshay i think is uh somebody who will never give you one dull moment he is so full of life he will always be cracking jokes doing masti and just work is such a breeze with him it just happens and it's back up and you're like are khatam ho gaya i miss working with him now i've done three films with him um yeah i would really love to work with him soon actually now that you remind me now i want to listen to your uh, i think best moment of your career winning the national award the most coveted award for any actor's journey so uh, how was that moment winning a national award for irada in 2017 very special moment and um, you know it's amazing that all the films people thought that i'll get a national award for um, and then uh, well, fortunately unfortunately nahi hua and then i was packing my bags to go for a shoot and suddenly i put on the tv and i started getting calls uh, so one of my journal friends said hey congratulations as it for what She said you just won the national award it was such a surprise the phone fell off my hand because one i didn't even know the national was were getting announced two i said for what he sing for irada and i was like are what a you know amazing thing things that you don't expect are give you even more happiness but what was the most beautiful thing was shamila that more than me i saw everyone else happier uh, feeling for me that hey i got it and um, it felt so nice yes my positioning in the industry changed after that um uh, i think it became few notches up thanks to it and uh, i felt very gratified that finally i get the most coveted award and and how many uh, phone much. calls did you get at that point of time Do you think i, I count many <laughs> uncountable <laughs> yeah Yeah, lovely. So, what was the most cherishable uh, phone call you received that time? Well, uh, I I don't know. I mean, I cried because I got a call from one of my friends who actually cried on the phone, and it was a again a a, a, a media a friend who said, "Listen, I was waiting for this moment for you forever." and it felt so nice that you have people who love you so much and who feel for you so strongly and you know i thought the most beautiful thing is to get the award but also the most beautiful thing is that people love you the way they do and that also is a very prestigious award i must say hey guys this is shormila maithi from shormila show house and please uh, subscribe my channel click the bell button for more updates